Joe's so got a thing, eh? I'll show you. So this is what I carry. It's just a smoke detector like this. Yeah. Same as any smoke detector. You screw on the wall, you twist on like that. How does it send the signal? Uh, then inside, there's the antennas inside, and it just sends over the radio network. So we have base stations. So the radio network uh, where, yeah, we're all over, you know, we have base stations all over, so it descends to the tower. So how much do you need to install one, and what is the monthly? The monthly, the monthly, uh, so, yeah, the monthly amount. That's okay, like I said, no hurry, uh, we're going to Sana, for pink Sana. <laughs> Yeah. So let me tell you what we did your classroom. Yes. Uh, we want to visit the classroom we did. Yes. Uh, this is uh, Ben Roberts from uh, Liquid Telecom. Okay. When we did the classrooms, we realized that we gave you TVs and computers, but you don't have Wi-Fi. You don't have Wi-Fi. So he was generous enough to say he could give us Wi-Fi in the 17 schools that we did the project. Oh. So, mm. we, so we, this we is, yeah, so he can give us the Wi-Fi. Yeah. But then there's also another product that they sell, which uh, is, you know, when you have fires, we're going to look at that for boarding schools. Mm. Uh, you know, like, uh, we, we will go to Mama Lucy, uh, the, what was that school? The one that burned recently. Guru Guru Girls. Guru Guru Girls. Guru Girls. So we will go to Guru Guru Girls, put the detectors, and see what is the cost of having as a pilot, so that we can actually stop the fires or detect them before it's too late. Yeah, yeah. So, so where do you start from? That's the from class. your office. No, from the office. No, that's the office. We have to find the bird. City Primary. I take this opportunity to welcome you to our school. You are most welcome. Yes, Moshmiwa, uh, Madam Pasaris. Uh, we have uh, really felt your presence in this school. So much contribution to our SME classes, and I want us to go there and see it. Uh, practically every day of, the, of our lives here in school, we experience your presence. The tables, the tumblings. Uh, the play materials, so many things that you donated to us, especially after COVID. Uh, we are grateful. We know you really have us at our heart. And uh, when we heard you are coming, we were really excited. Uh, we are very happy to have you around. Please let us go there and see what you have done for us and how those people are enjoying your contribution and your support. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay. <laughs> no, okay, so so basically, um, we're live from City Primary. Um, and we're very grateful for your welcome. welcome. We have about four, 17 schools in Nairobi that we have provided through the National Government Affirmative Action Fund uh, equipment for autistic children. Now, when we provide the, the TVs, the, 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 um, the computers, we realize that a number of the schools actually don't have Wi-Fi. So uh, Liquid Telecom have actually graciously offered to provide uh, for the 17 schools Wi-Fi. Uh, and we said, okay, why not? Let's take this and then at least the kids can be able to use the smart TVs and the computers because autistic children require certain programs that are only available online. So we want to make sure that those facilities that we provided are utilized. 
but at the same time uh, liquid uh, telecom have also got uh, products that can detect fires and we want to also partner with them to see how we can make sure that this spate of fires that we're having across not just Nairobi but the country can actually be arrested at an early stage so uh, I'm very grateful you've just come back from London and uh, we're straight away taking you down on the ground uh, but please uh, introduce yourself your products and and then we can take the tour of the office of the classroom okay okay thank you um, yes, yeah, so my name is, is Ben Roberts. I'm, uh, I'm chairman of Liquid Telecom in, or Liquid Intelligent Technologies, we've renamed uh, in Kenya, but we were known as Liquid Telecom. Um, but I, I'm, I'm working across Africa to try and actually connect all schools in Africa. I've been working with uh, development partners, at UNICEF and others on, on projects like this. Um, I've done a lot of schools connected in the western side of Kenya, um, but when I met uh, Honorable Madam Pasaris, she was telling me about the Nairobi schools uh, and particularly um, the special needs education uh, and I think um, you know all schools are going to need internet in the coming years but I think um, children who are disadvantaged even more so with, with these sort of issues and, and, and having units available they really need to have internet to enable the tech and, and global uh, best practices I think you know can be shared across the internet so we're very I'm very happy to be here today to learn more about um, what is going on here with the special needs education. And I'm very you know, excited as well to explore how we can use technology to um, help with school fires and help with early detection of school fires. Tell me, um, um, the, you have other needs, huh? the autistic school, not even? Yeah, we you have a lot you of know, other you, needs. You, you know you have other needs. Huh? Uh, we gave you learning equipment, yeah. you know, learning equipment. So we'll go through whatever we've given and see yes. how the kids are utilizing. Yes. We're visiting, I think we have 17 schools that we've provided a classroom. Yes. Right? We haven't painted the outside of the classroom you yet haven't. because we but wanted the to. The done. inside is done. Mm -hmm. We want to do the outside, of course, put up, recognize our various partners. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what I wanted to know is since you're having this opportunity, is as we're walking around, tell us what other needs you have. Yeah. You know, because it's uh, for the autistic children, uh, autistic children, and also for the school, for the so that even you, I can engage your member of parliament, or I can engage uh, the mm -hmm. minister of education. Mm -hmm. I don't want to walk out of here and just deal with my issue. Mm -hmm. If there are issues that you're also, we have issues, mm -hmm. uh, We have issues, especially pertaining the feeding of those children. Uh, we need to give them. Uh, this diet that is uh, recommended from the hospital, but uh, the finances are we are restrained. So, if we could get a providence of uh, dry seed, the cereals, the beans, the maize, the beans, the rice, and the oil. So these are the things that you buy. You buy yourself. We buy. We so buy. the parents pay for the feeding. They program. pay. They pay, but not all of them can afford it. Yeah. yeah, so it is, so it the is a real tug of war for them to pay so that we provide. So do you have any greenhouse? Uh, do you have any we have a farming? greenhouse? Yeah. Do you get anything? Any nutritional? Yeah, like now we had uh, danias and spinach. Mm. You know what? We have 17 schools that were provided fruit trees, mm -hmm. bananas, etc. We've got the problem for the 17 we don't schools. Have the we is is, is, is it primary, primary one of the schools? Yeah. This side yeah. really needs a lot of some little money because theirs is dry. Mm -hmm. But the, if it is taken care of, or they get some little money. So they're looking for what? They, it's dry yeah. because of no water, it's dry yeah. because of. Yeah, you know, the, the, the system, the machine was not working. The so borehole. The borehole. So they even wrote a letter to our offices. So, so I'm seeing, I'm seeing Ati Water yes. regarding the prisons, because yes. I'm doing a program at the prisons. I'm trying to plant uh, fruit trees and do an orchard at the prisons. Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. We have the, the same case, uh, yeah. Bonapier. We have a bubble, uh, Afi, but uh, something happened, it was not completed. So, so our greenhouse is not functional. Okay, so the borehole, uh, when I'm talking to Athi Water, because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm seeing them regarding the prisons, mm -hmm. if they are actually have done a borehole that's not completed, they should come and complete it. Mm -hmm. Right, so that's something I'm going to pass. Uh, you see, and that's good, because I'm talking to him in the next yes. one or two hours. Okay. So when I talk to him, I'll also bring that to his attention. Thank so at least let's try and solve one problem. At least the borehole at City Primary. Yeah. Yes. And then also uh, tree... Tree side. Tree side. Tree side. Uh, you, in, you've given, you've given the, side. you've given the Bush the request. Yes, yes. Okay, fantastic. Yes. So let's go see the classroom because we've got four classrooms to, to tour, and then uh, we can take it from there. On the food side, on the food side, I mm -hmm. think our government needs first of all to get its production, food secure, and then also to complement the, the schools mm -hmm. after the orphanages and you know, I mean, it's it's dire need everywhere. It's a lot of land. I mean, yes, yeah. yes, they could do a nice uh, green farm. 
I've yeah. got a good friend. He's, uh, he works at Calvo, but he does his own um, stuff on, on as well. You know, he's working. With school, so school where, school where is your farm? That, that is our borehole. Yeah. yeah, that is a borehole. Yeah. So the borehole is not functional. Yeah, it is complete. Actually, it worked for some time, and then there was some theft and something. And since then, they have been policing the farm and food and So there was theft. Why did they secure it? They, you know, they say it is their business, not just food business. And we have a lot of Tukoras that buy here. So the Tukoras... Uh, so whose business? It is not a school business. Our security officers are not concerned with the bubble. But it's, the bubble is serving the school? It was serving outsiders. Not just the school. No, school is there. Definitely, we benefit. Yes. But uh, when we talk to them, they say they'll take care of everything. So, who, I think who, when you talk to them, who is them? Uh, Aki Water. They are the water. Yeah. So, do they have their representative here? No, nobody is here. Okay, so we'll get we'll get the headmaster, uh, the, the 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 MD to yes. come and yes. tell us yes. which way forward. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Otherwise, it is there. We have seen its water. It worked for some time. For some time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because when they do these boreholes, they choose areas where you will not run out of water. Because they, you know, they keep talking about the Nairobi being water, the, the water bed in Nairobi being sufficient. Yes. So I can't understand how a borehole would not have enough water. No, it has a lot of water. This one of ours. This is the communication room. Yes. So we put. So the two computers were put here. Uh, yeah. the, the computer is on the other side. Uh, no, but we, we gave you under our project two computers. Two computers. Yeah. Uh -huh. The desktop. Yes. The one is at Mr. Dewan's office. Uh -huh. The other one is in the other class. This is the class. In the class. Yes. yes. So it's in Tigori's office. Yes. yes. But well, this is the computer. Is so he took the new computer for his, uh, for his office? No, he does it with the children. Yeah. He does it. They you will see. see it. Okay, you fantastic. See it. So this is your ICT lab, is our but now you have this ICT lab with all these computers, uh -huh. but no Wi-Fi. No Wi-Fi. No Wi-Fi here. Yes. No wi yeah. yeah. So what we are trying to say is, if we have a Wi-Fi there yes. for those children, we cannot miss to put it here in, the in, a, in a computer ICT because the children will also be. So nice. you had a fire there as well. Yeah, it was fire. Yeah. Fire from this electrical. Mm. And yes. this is a generator. Is it, do you use this here or is this just in store? It is in use. To, to, but when your power goes off, you use it for the computer? Use the, yeah. If they have no... Do you have electricity? Yes. Only, yes. Your power bills are paid. Yes. So some yes. schools have gone to, there's no electricity. Power bills are generally paid. The power bill is settled. The power settled. bill is settled. Yes. We okay. are really keen about it because yeah. you know we have these autistic children and they have to do therapy. Yes. And we use FEMA. Fantastic. Yes. Yes. So we have to keep it. Okay, so, so this school is separate in the sense that it has a computer lab, huh? Yes. yes. Alright, great. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to I'm going to also uh, talk to the ICT uh, CS yes. to understand why do we have computer you labs without Wi-Fi? Yeah. Okay. Because you can't work on softwares. All the softwares are now online. Yes. yes. But the, 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 the Yeah, the, I the, mean the, the, the communication authority have done a project uh, from Joe's ministry to connect schools there. So the, the schools we've connected mm -hmm. have been under the Universal Service Fund project, which is of the ministry of the CA from the ministry. So, but then the education ministry have not taken on the contract. They need to take on and continue. But they, they haven't yet signed MOU. So we, everybody's trying to avoid the expenses. Yeah, somehow. Yeah. 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 Oh, 
education because with 26,000 for them okay. to pay the, the therapies to pay I understand I and understand the teacher aids, the teacher aids. Yeah. I understand yeah. your need but for me I feel so we, do, we need a sponsor no no it's not just a sponsor I think mm -hmm. the, there has to be a vote for PWD oh, yes. so that the government provides yeah. money yeah. and they have to understand that PWD requires a physiotherapist yeah. requires a special diet yes. because these kids you can't give them certain foods you because can. then they get so very high cut right so this this particular yeah. child uh, if the parents don't have 26,000 yeah. the child is denied education yeah. right and then it's a dependent forever yeah. so it's really said that there's no vote for PWD in, in school. So you receive money to accept X number of students mm -hmm. or based on your population. Mm -hmm. Isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really but, sad. But do you know they are saying, Mom, mm -hmm. that uh, every school in the PWD, mm -hmm. they are giving more money. And so, Walimu, if they are giving more money for schools with PWD, why do the parents still have to pay 26000 The money that is given uh, is not actually enough. Like last time we got about 300000 For the whole time? Yes. We pay our teacher aides about 230000 So what is left cannot even take us in the next month. Okay, so and let this me... One is uh, continuous for the whole year. Every month. Even the teacher aides. Yeah. I'm thinking about one thing. I, I mean, we went to visit uh, Machak School for the Deaf. Um, you know, they're obviously able to make things. Like you saw there, the kids have made things and able to sell them for fundraising. Yeah. So schools know how to do, they know how to do traditional methods of fundraising. But now, fundraising is, you know, you see how it is. You make a TikTok video, you're on GoFundMe, and blah, blah, blah. So I've been trying to find someone who can do training courses for the schools to then teach the school people, and the principals and the officers, how to then do online fundraising. If they're able to do that, and access global markets for fundraising, got funding and this one. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, they get a lot of money, but they need to understand how they don't know how the skills to do. Yeah. I think we need, we need. Uh, is there a way? Is there is there a way, Rumumba, because you're in the parents' association? Is there a way for us to know how many schools in Nairobi have PWD units, and how many students are in each unit? So that once we do, we come up with that, I could do it through my foundation, for instance, so that we can actually sponsor the children and how much each child is studying. Yes. We need to hire someone to go around and get us that data. That's true. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I'll start with the Ministry of Education, see what they have, and then we look at international uh, fundraisers to improve the the autistic classrooms yeah. and the services and assist the parents because. If the normal parent, the children with normal parents, uh, the, the parents with normal children, right, who have no issues, right, are getting this education free, then the ones with PWD who are already struggling because they can also get gainful employment because their children are such, uh, so they have such high needs. They are the ones who have to pay. It's a bit uh, mixed up, isn't yeah. it? But thank you. You see, well, by talking, we get to yeah, learn. I always say that Mushimiwa is elected, but she doesn't have all the answers. No, correct. The answers and unless you go ground. to the ground yes, and see what is happening. So, we'll move out. One, one minute. Yeah. We're leaving now. Yes. We will uh, be in touch. Yes. Uh, let us want to finish with our survey. Yeah, the teams had already gone down to about 14 schools, uh -huh. so we are doing the remaining three. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. So, Asante Sana, Nisa Kuja Tena, Nisa Fatiga, Nisa Fatiga, Nione Vile Ati, Wata Wadaisa Fu. Yeah, so tell me about this boat here, it's very unusual. Yeah, this one is a sheep, uh -huh. but uh, they came with 
the land of castles. Yes. So who came with this? The Wahindis who started the school in 1939. So Sorry. the model that she that they had used to come to Africa. I was reading about the ship. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah.